Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can tuck your tops. I don't want to say your t-shirt because I am actually going to show you different ways you can tuck t-shirts, shirt, and even a chunky sweater so it doesn't look bulky in your pants. No one likes that. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Let's start with the t-shirts. This is a regular long t-shirt. You know how plain a t-shirt looks when it's just outside. Let's start with the basics. The first thing you gotta do is unbutton your pants. Tuck your t-shirt in and with both of your palms you're going to smooth the front out. That way you don't have any wrinkles and it's not going to be all folded in the bottom so it's not going to be uncomfortable for you. And also it's not going to show through your pants. Lift your arms, stretch a little bit. This is the perfect trick to get the perfect amount of fabric out of your pants that it looks perfect and it's going to be very easy. After this, you can pull with your hands a little bit more fabric until you feel comfortable. And this also depends of your body shape. If you want a little bit more fabric coming through the sides, you want to tuck in your shirt all the way to the sides of your body. Don't go any further than that. Also make sure that your t-shirt is flat to your body. That way the fabric is going to fold underneath and that way is going to look better from the back. This is my second tip, is pay attention to the back. Have a look here at what a difference it makes and how a well thought t-shirt from the back makes your bottom look way better, more round and lifted compared to the other side. To tuck in the back of your t-shirt, just take a few inches from the middle of the tail and tuck it in your pants. Then just fold the rest of the t-shirt to make it look nice. And this is great, especially when you have a t-shirt or a shirt with a longer tail and you want to make it look shorter. This next trick is for those of you that like to show a little bit of skin with your high rise pants. All you need to do is to cross your arms in front of your body, grab the bottom of the t-shirt and uncross your arms, lifting the shirt to your waist. This trick will let you grab more fabric at the same time and it's going to be easier for you to create a knot. You can do the knot at the front or a little bit to the side, whatever you prefer. And this is a fun way to wear your top because you're going to show a little bit of skin at the front but all of your back still covered. Again, pay attention at how your shirt looks from the back. If you want to show even more skin, you can just fold the knot underneath and also fold the shirt at the back. Okay, so this trick is just to add a little bit of something to your shirt. It's not precisely tucking in your shirt, but it's going to make it look different. All you need to do is grab a little bit of your shirt from underneath with a hair elastic and I think it looks better to one side and that's it. Let's move on to shirts now. I'm going to show you how to tuck two different kinds of shirts. The first one is a more effortless look. You just need to unbutton the last buttons of your shirt until you can see the fly and button of your pants. You want the buttons of your shirt to be centered with the fly of your jeans or your pants. Now tuck in the half of the shirt that's underneath and smooth it with the palm of your hand until it has no wrinkles and follow the same steps that we did with the t-shirt. So you want to lift your hands and stretch a little bit to take out a little bit of fabric of the jeans and just fold the extra fabric underneath in the side and in the back and you're going to have an effortless look with your button down shirt. For the more classic approach, you want to button down your shirt and tuck it all in. Remember to smooth out the wrinkles with the palm of your hands and center the buttons of the shirt with the fly of your pants. Just follow the same steps of the t-shirt, lift your arms, check the back, you can also tuck in the tail of your shirt if you feel it's too long or if you want, you can just tuck a little bit of the front of your shirt and get a French tuck. The next tip is perfect for when you're wearing very high-rise pants or a high-rise 
skirt that is quite tight or a little bit see-through like white pants. What you want to do is tuck all your shirt in all the way around your body. Make sure that you're tucking the shirt flat to your body, especially in the back. Smooth out the back with the palm of your hands like you do in the front. And when it's all flat, you want to pull up a little bit the shirt so you don't have it showing through in the middle of your butt. That way it's very easy to hide and it works perfect for those pencil skirts. Same as the rest, pull a little bit of the shirt in the front of your pants, but take all the extra fabric to the sides of your body, that way you don't look chunky in the front, and that it's all for this look. For the silky shirt, you want to do the same thing, tuck your shirt all the way in, start from the half of the shirt that it's underneath, and go all the way around your body. Keep it flat and just simply lift your arms and pull the fabric to your liking and that's it. Okay guys, so finally I'm going to show you a couple of ways to tuck in your chunky sweater. The first one is very straightforward. You just want to take a few inches of your sweater, not quite the front, but to the side, tuck it in your pants and smooth all the front of your body. Don't tuck it in too much, just the ends of the sweater, and then just let it fold and fix it with your hands to your liking. The next one is a great tip. You know when you tuck in your chunky sweater and you get that bulge in your pants, it makes your body look weird? Well, I have the solution for you. Instead of just tucking in your sweater in your pants, you want to tuck it in your bra. That's going to let your pants hold their shape and your body will look great. And that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!